looking back over the last 10 years, you have the so-called milestones, right? Those big moments. To me and to knock around as a company, those are the things that you remember when you look back. So the first five years, I was the only employee of Knockaround. It got to a point where he couldn't do it all himself and he actually asked me if I wanted to help him with, with Knockaround. I just inquired with him, like, hey man, if you have any openings, let me know. I don't really know if he was taking interns at the time, but he was like, sure, we could use an intern. I would come in and they would just play Nicki Minaj on repeat and I just remember sitting there one Friday and thinking, my gosh, this is a crazy place to work. And they just didn't have didn't have enough people to sort of build glasses, so I just started building glasses. What's cool about all of us is we started out packing orders to operations and production and marketing and, and sort of the full range of what it takes to run a company. We've done it all. The limited editions that we started spawned out of the fact that we had pieces of sunglasses that we couldn't use. We started piecing them together and said, these actually look pretty cool. We came up with the name, the Werewolf Premiums. I think we only had 20 pairs and they sold out in an hour. Fast forward a few years later, our limited editions are core to what we do as a company. And they're still selling out just as fast. Snoop Dogg was the first celebrity to wear knockarounds. I literally wrote on the box for Snoop Dogg, and not knowing if he would actually wear them or get them or what, you know, and it was kind of almost a shot in the dark. And then he did, and it was like, oh, that is super cool. And I was able to touch those glasses that he has on his face. <laughs> we just sent sunglasses to people that we liked, and they just they started wearing them. Once you start having some success and gaining some momentum, you want to find a way to give back. Art was always my favorite subject in school, so it seemed like a natural fit to just find a way that I could support the arts and support local art education. And so our class acts program seemed like the perfect fit. It's not always money and success that motivates you. Sometimes it's making a connection to something that you're passionate about. When I moved out to San Diego, one of the first things I did was go to a Padres game, and the atmosphere at a Padres game is awesome. And the giveaway at the game was a little clock, an alarm clock. It was such an awesome little giveaway, and I had it up on my shelf, and I was just thinking, like, why couldn't we do this? Why couldn't we have a giveaway with the San Diego Padres? We reached out to the Padres and we said, what would it take to do a giveaway where we give away a ton of Padres knock-around sunglasses? And they said, sure, let's make it happen. So you go from 10,000 pairs given away at a baseball game to 20,000 pairs and you're standing on the mound holding the ball, throwing out the first pitch and you start thinking like, how did, how did this even happen? You know, like, how did we make this happen? Knock around, knock the game.